The United Kingdom began a 10-day mourning shortly after an announcement from Buckingham Palace declared the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, while King Charles III was officially proclaimed as St. James Palace. From London, our collaborator Santiago Las with more information. Greetings from Westminster Abbey, where the 10-day mourning event honoring Queen Elizabeth II will end. King Charles III will be formally crowned by Archbishop of Canterbury before the world. The new king will take the coronation oath and let us remember that back in 1954, right here on this very stage, Elizabeth II was crowned a Queen of England. On this stage you can see how everything is being set up to receive high officials, not only from the Commonwealth but from the rest of the world. From this moment forward, the crown will face several challenges, among them we can mention nationalism such as the case of Scotland, Prince Harry's descent, the relationship with Russia, and the gas supply, which is running low in the United Kingdom. People are watching because they want not only a monarch, but also a diplomat. We return the signal to the studio.